ask if you are able to please rise and remove your caps in joining Major League Baseball, the Miami Marlins, and the Philadelphia Phillies as we remember those whose lives were lost on September 11, 2001. We pay tribute to them and to the men and women who serve our country as we honor the pledge we shall not forget. Rogers fourth major league start a career high 10 strikeouts in his last outing against the Rays. The second Marlin started to get to 10 strikeouts other than Sixto Sanchez those two guys boy oh boy the, uh, a little glimpse into the future here for the Marlins. Cutch it hitting 243 with with five home runs 24 runs batted in one for five last night and he lines one into left field a base hit he's going to have an extra base hit right out of the game. That's a good start for the fighting Phils. So Runner at second base and here's Reese Reese was one for five last night with a single Trevor kicks deals swing and a miss strike him out strikeout number one on the night for Trevor Rogers. That brings Harper up batting 254. 145 average over the course of his last 20 games. And a called strike three. So two strikeouts after the leadoff double. Rogers looking good early. McCutcheon at second for JT Real Muto. After a leadoff double from Andrew McCutcheon, Rogers struck out the next three Hoskins, Harper, and Real Muto. Noah, four and three. 2.74 earned run average. Look for him to bounce back tonight. I'm not saying he's got to throw a complete game, Tom, but. He's got to go seven. Aaron against the Marlins, three and seven for his career. Swing and a miss. He does go back to the changeup. Marte last night, three for five with a couple of doubles. Swing and a miss. Changeup again. So he's gotten two strikeouts on the changeup. Matt Joyce playing in right field again, batting 272. Swing and a miss. Got the curveball working there. Three strikeouts for Nola. Here's Brian Anderson batting 254. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout with the curveball. Here's Garrett Cooper with two down and nobody on. DHing tonight, batting 278. Yes, he did. I think he did. Joe West thinks he did too. And Aaron just struck out the side. He has five strikeouts through two. Adam Hazley now with one out. And Hazley getting the start against a guy he was a drafted in front of six picks ahead of Trevor Rogers in that first round in 2017. Lines that one out toward right center field. That's going to be an extra base hit, a one hop off the wall. And Adams going to pull into second base with his fourth double of the year. Here is Andrew McCutcheon. McCutcheon hits one to deep left field. No doubt about that one. It is gone into the first row, going after the first pitch, and the Phillies are on top, two nothing. I think Andrew's seen the ball pretty good off Rogers. Home run number six for McCutcheon. 26 runs batted in. Here is Gene Segura with a couple of runners on and two outs. Pulled to left field, and there's your extra base hit, Ben. Reese will score. Real Buto runs well. He's already being waved home from third. And he's on his way, and he'll score. It's a two run double for Segura, and the Phillies have scored four runs in the inning. It'll be first and third with nobody out. That'll bring up Adam Hazley. He's now two for four in the series. Ground ball through the hole on the right side. Hazley's two for two. That's an RBI single. And the Phillies lead it 5 0. And here's Andrew McCutcheon, who's also two for two with a double and a homer. McCutcheon lines one out to left center field. That'll be in for a base hit. And Bohm's around third. He's heading for home. No throw. Over to third base goes Hazley. RBI single. And it's now 6 0. And runners on the corners for the Phil. Still nobody out of the inning. That one's hooked down the left field line, and it is gone. Into the second row, a three run home run, and Reese has busted this baby open. It's now 9 0 Phillies. Go down and get it, Reese. That might be the lowest pitch Reese has ever hit. I mean, that was. Beautiful home run number 10. He's back within one of Real Muto for the club lead. Marlins still don't have a hit in this game. They've had just one base runner. Marte, one of the offensive stars last night. One two pitch is a fastball. Oh, oh. and he <laughs> swung. Did he say he swung it? Yes, that? he did. Well, Aaron Nolda with eight strikeouts. One gone. Bring up Alec Bohm. Pulls that one. He used the whole <laughs> field there, the whole left field line. Didi on his way to third, and he's going to be waved home. And Alec Bohm is going to have an RBI double. It's now 10 0 Phillies, and Bohm is two for three. Here's Adam Hazley. And the 2 2 pitch pulled down the right field line. That'll be another extra base hit for Hazley. 
Baum will score easily and Hazley on his way to second base is there standing. An RBI double back to back doubles. It's 11 nothing Phillies. This will be the 10th pitch of the at bat to Brian Anderson as he leads off the fifth inning. And he pulls it past Bohm into left field. First hit of the day for the Marlins. And they'll bring Garrett Cooper up. Out towards short. Should be two. There's one and two. Here's the second hit of the game. Two down. Here's Chisholm. Swig and a miss. Nine strikeouts for Aaron Nola. So here's Harrison, his first at bat after he replaced Marte in center. Here's the 2 2 from Nola. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. There's number 10 on the night for Aaron Nola. Back to back double digit strikeout games for the Phil's right hander. It's a 1 2 3 sixth. All right, so now Aaron Nola goes to work. If he finishes this inning off, it would be a complete game. His first of his career. That one's to the left of the mound. Flag down by Nola. Yeah, there are two outs. That's a heck of a play. Who said pitchers aren't athletes? So runners on first and second. And here is Isan Diaz, who singled off the middle and is only at bat. It's back the runner at second base. And the 2 2 pitch. And a line drive caught by D.D. Gregorius. And Aaron Nola has his first complete game shutout of what is a budding career for the Phillies right hander. And man, did the Phillies need this. They win it today by a final score of 11 to nothing.